we're taking a real face off, right? And we're gonna put the ball down and have it on your right hand side, all right? So now the same exact thing, we're gonna go back and forth. Same thing, we wanna be up on our toes, right? We don't wanna be sitting on our heels. Up on your toes if you're taking a face off and nice and short and choppy. I want the ball to be right over my stick. I don't wanna throw it five yards in front of me, right? Nice, short and choppy, back and forth, back and forth, right? 20 times with your right hand and then 20 times with your left, go ahead. My, the back of my hand is. All right, line it up right where it would be. Okay? And this is with your partner. So on a whistle, we're gonna go down set whistle, and I, we're gonna try to grab the ball, right? Making our first move with our right hand, and we're gonna add up on top of it, all right? And when we do this, I want you guys to think, right? Like I said before, face offs are really quick. We wanna punch the ball. We don't wanna just go into it, right? We don't wanna push the ball, we wanna punch, right? When we do two hands, I'll say all the time, I'll say pound the dough, or yeah, pound the dough, pull the mo. Right, pound the pizza dough with your right hand, pull the lawnmower with your left, okay? So we're gonna line up, say down, set, whistle, right? And on the whistle, we're both gonna try to grab the ball as quick as we can, okay? Our, our hand, our right hand is punching towards the ball, and notice one thing, you don't wanna have, right, we elbow flare, right, we don't want our elbow to flare out. If we focus on getting our pinky to the ball, punching it, I'm gonna punch my hand, and I want my, my hand to roll in front of the ball. Okay, I want my knuckles to be foot facing my opponent's knee when I finish. Everyone get that? We're just gonna Right, you can go behind your back or just keep it floating. And I want you guys to think, I wanna get my pinky into the ball. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the line that my stick's on all the way down and punch that ball. And I want that ball to end up right at the bottom of our stick. Why the bottom of our stick? S strongest part, right? The bottom third's the strongest part. You want it to be right in that bottom cup. Right, so we're go, we'll get in our stance, right, and make sure we're perfect in our stance. Ball all the way up, down set whistle. I'm punching that ball, and the ball ends in the bottom third. What's happening with my head when I do it? it? Comes down, right? I want you guys to pretend that there's a string, right, attached from this top side rail to your face mask. So if, if my stick goes down, my head has to follow, okay? There we Bring their wrist flat, right? I like having my hand so that when it wraps around, right? If you have a regular shaft, right? Not like this drinking shaft or anything that, that is made to hold your hands in a certain way. I like to have it so that my hand is basically flat in my stick, right? If my hand's all the way cocked back, right? What am I setting myself up to do right away? Push, right? And what do we want to do? Punch, right? Think, punch instead of push, right? Punch. So if I have my my hand flat, my wrist flat, I can punch that ball into the bottom third right away, okay? So if that helps for your hands, right? That, that's where we wanna have our hands. You guys have any, any younger guys, anything? One of the older guys, give me one of them, right? If we're locked up. Punch. Punch, right? Or pinky to the ball, right? So if we're here, right, your first rule for any of this, right, is always have, we talked about before, right hand pressure, right? We always wanna have weight on our right hand. So if we're locked up here, I can just, Focus on pushing that ball harder, getting my right pinky into that ball, and lock that ball away. All right, good. What's another one? Right, to lift my back hand, right? Or shimmy, right? So if we're here, and we talked about before, when I lift my back hand, what's it do to my stick? Closes your stick, right? It makes it tinier. So two things, right? Is if I just, if we're 50-50, if we both have 50%, and I just lift the back end of my stick, am I gonna get more of the ball? No, right? No, because I only have 50%. I want to make sure if I'm going to lift my back hand, right, we want to push into the ball to get more of that ball, right? I want to close that ball off. So two things, when I lift, I'm still putting my pinky to the ball and get a piece of that ball more. Good, what's the last one? Rotate, right? We can rotate, so if we're locked up, right, and we're just staying flat this way, it doesn't help. If I start rotating my body around, Right, I can get that ball into the bottom of my stick. And think, right, is if we're, if me and Ryan are the same exact size, right, and we're fighting this way, if we, if we can lift and we're just as strong, no one's gonna have an advantage, right? It's gonna be a stalemate. If I turn this way, you stay there, right? If I turn this way, I can push Ryan over much easier, right? 
it's a better angle. I wanna get into Ryan's right pocket. If I can get into Ryan's right pocket, right, if I can rotate myself this way, then I have a much better chance of getting the ball. Right, so for this drill, you can choose any of the three. I'm not gonna tell you which one to do. We're gonna start, everyone's gonna start with their partner, 50% over the ball. All right, it's gonna basically be just a live face off, right? So down set whistle, I can either shimmy, go down the line, right? Pinky to the ball, lift my back hand, or rotate around and try to get that ball. Trouble's been. What? Locked, right? I can hold way more weight when my elbows are locked. When we're fighting, your strongest point is to be your arms straight, right? When I'm wrenching, but then when I want to rotate, right? If I want to rotate around, I want to be nice and quick, right? The quicker I want to have my elbows bent so I can get around into the, the center point. Here, come down for me on the point, right? So, so think, right? Can I see your stick real quick? Yeah. Right, everyone's, everyone has, everyone knows what the corkscrew drill is, right? Where you, you pinch the ball and you just go around in a circle. Why do they call it a corkscrew drill? Does anyone know? It, it goes in a circle, but a corkscrew, right? It gets tighter at one end, right? You want to work your way and keep the ball in one tight spot. So I always think, right, is if I took a, st a metal stake and I stuck it right in your shoulder, I want to rotate around the ball on that stake, right? If I start rotating, right, and I get farther and farther away from my stick, am I stronger or weaker? Weaker. Weaker, right? I want to rotate nice and tight over the ball. Right? I want to have my nose or my chest over the ball when I rotate. So if you have your elbows bent when you're rotating, that's fine. When I want to wrench and when I, when, I, when I want to be strong, that's when I get my arms out straight. But if I don't have enough of the ball, then I get right back to bent. All right? So think about it like that. Stance and whether I go for that counter or not, if I don't get it, my left hand is planting on the ground. My right hand's coming underneath when he goes, and as soon as he tries to move it, I'm ripping that. Box him out. <laughs> Pressure on, keep the pressure on, 
Good egg. Counter. Pressure, 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 pressure. Crank, take a big crank, take a big crank. There you go. Good. Set.